Is it a fraud? Is it? Is this whole thing a scam? Seriously. I don't know anymore. I don't know what to think. Do you know what to think? I'm at the point where just I, I, I try not to listen. I just want to be informed and know and make my own judgments. But I'm, I'm back to just get out there and start living. And I hope you are too. I know a lot of people are going to hate this episode. Everybody has their own opinions and views. And I, I'm open to it all. I am. I am. So come at me. <laughs> Please do. I, I just, I, I don't know what to say anymore. This whole thing, everything that's happening with the world, I don't know what's real, what's not anymore. Are, are, are we being tested? It, it, are the world powers testing us? Are they testing our resilience? Because if that's what they're testing, then we are going to get through this. We are. And I, I believe in us. We're, we're Something in our DNA just tells us to keep going. And we usually don't just you know lay down there and die. We don't. We keep going. And that's who we are. We, us. Thank you all. Boss to boss. Mira Whistlow in the house. Get to talk to you all. Get to see you all. Actually, you noticed, I, I apologize. I haven't had like a rant last week. Um, I've been a little little off lately. This whole quarantine life is actually, if anything, I've been kind of busier, I feel like. I, I've been doing a lot more, getting out, doing more like actual podcast interviews, getting on a few more podcasts, really hunkering down and hustling with HodgePodge because we are running you know, at about 50% capacity now, I want to say, give or take. And I'm trying to do our best to keep everybody employed, make sure everybody gets as many hours as possible. So I'm, I'm constantly just hustling day in, day out, trying to get sales. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but I kind of got back into a little bit of a passive daytime trading while I'm here at home, which has kind of occupied some of my time. Um, I, I kind of stopped doing a few other things such as um, trying to work on my coaching style business that I was kind of attempting to look into and I wasn't and I was dabbling and I'm like, should I make a course? Should I this? Should I that? And I'm like, you know what? Uh, that, that's not me. Um, I don't think that's me. I'm still open to it. You know, if anybody wants help, I'm here to help and I'll do it, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, Hey guys, uh, I'm coach Miro. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a life coach. I haven't been here. I haven't made millions to be able to show you how to make millions. I've, I've done a, I've made a kick-ass podcast and I got ranked, you know, number 20 in entrepreneurship and constantly getting uh, ranked up there. And it's been fun. My business has been pretty, pretty, pretty successful for now, but nowhere near I want it to be, but I'm not going to sit here and preach and I'm not going to be a coach of everything because there already is a coach of everything. And it's so goddamn annoying, right? Like, I'm ranting today. Rants and recaps. Like we are fully back and locked and loaded. I feel like this pandemic has brought out the crazies. Everyone is a coach now. Everyone is going full out with this online thing. Everyone is trying to sell you. I swear, I've been fortunate enough to reconnect with a lot of old friends talking to a lot of people, been reaching out to a lot of people. It's been fun. It's been awesome. And I've also been fortunate enough to be reconnected through old, by old friends. You know, we've talked again, only to be sold within that reconnection, which is fucking amazing. Like it's at this point, I just laugh. I love it. There's nothing like someone trying to reconnect with you, trying to rekindle the friendship, the relationship. Oh, how you doing? Hope you're well. How's your business? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, oh, by the way, I'm doing this new thing now. You know, I got this Ponzi scheme going on. They won't really tell you it's a Ponzi scheme. Off topic, if you're running a damn Ponzi scheme, tell me, be honest. You know, I actually might be a lot more interested. So a lot more other people, if you are honest and you say, hey, I work for an MLM company, I'm going to be honest with you. But this is cool. Just, just whatever, hear me out. If not, I don't, whatever we move on or, Hey, I got a Ponzi scheme. Check it out. Just tell me, Oh, I'd rather you be honest with me and upfront 
Instead, I'm getting these back way, back door entrances, you know, like it's, it's so creepy. I'll, I'll be talking with some people, catching up, catching up. Things are good. It's like, oh, hey, by the way, check this out. Check out these, check out these videos. Where, where, where's your money going right now? Where, where are you investing? What are you doing? I know you're going through a tough time, but tough times, tough times create opportunities. And I know you may be broke, but you know what? I'm going to make you millions. I'll make you millions. And this just uh, emails, text, random calls. I don't know about you, but I'm getting so many lately. It's, it's crazy. I mean, it's fun to watch at times, but at times it's like, wow, I'm actually here trying to do something with myself, my life. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be a consumer of your products. And even if I was, I won't consume it from you because I hate that pushy attitude. It's the worst. If I want to buy into one of your Ponzi schemes, I will seek you out. I will find it. I am not going to sit here and go through a three-hour seminar that's going to change my life only to be sold for the rest of my life afterwards. I mean, seriously. I mean, what's next? Are uh, timeshares going to become the biggest and greatest investment of 2020? Because, shit, I mean, that's, that's what it's starting to look like. Uh, please, 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 comments. If you're watching this, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or one of the podcast uh, platforms, send a message or a comment, please you know, email us in uh, Miro at Bost to Bost.com. That's M I R O at Bost, the number two Bost.com. We're just go on our website, potriver.com. Send us a message there. I'm curious, what's the crazy, craziest infomercial you've seen or pitch you've gotten recently? Because I swear, there's nothing like people trying to act like their friends or the best is wishing you a happy birthday. Yeah. So I just, uh, long story short, it was my birthday recently. Big old three, one. Uh, damn, I should have busted out my uh, dirty 30 hat that I had on last year, but crazy to think it's already been a year. Wow. Wild times. Nothing like getting a happy birthday message followed up by, Hey, by the way, I've been doing very well lately. How, uh, how's your business been doing? I've been doing so good. Oh, 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 yeah. And, you know, I, I'm actually thriving during this quarantine. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's been uh, hopping on my, uh, my, new, my, new, my new business model. Or the best is when someone wishes you a comp- like, a, like a website or like a sales pitch within their birthday. Like I actually got one birthday wish that was somebody's website he goes somebody wrote like so and so dot com is wishing you a birthday blah blah like damn talk about a shameless plug and a half advertising within the happy birthday like that guy that gal whoever it was is clearly winning at life like we are taking no prisoners now no prisoners we're gonna sell the fuck out of everyone who cares no one cares, masks or not, gloves or not, we're selling you and I'm selling you. Like, we're all just getting sold. It's, it's crazy. And I'd love to hear your story. I would, I would. Like, if anything, I, I would think that I would change up my approach right now. Like, I would not double down on that. Like, I don't know. If some of these people are actually doing good and making a living with these crazy technical, like, in your face, creepy methods, like, please let me know. I, I get, I want to bring you on my show and I want to talk to you and I want to hear about how you're killing it with your crazy sales tactics like that. Because I swear, like getting on, on me and my privacy, like getting inside, finding out my damn, what's with all these damn emails? Like shit. When did I subscribe to 30,000 different like emailing lists all of a sudden? Like everybody that I've ever given an email to or put, signed up for something is just bombarding me. It's, it's wild. It's crazy. It's, it's ruthless out there and whew, it's fun. It's fun. But yeah, just wanted to catch you all up. Wanted to see where you're at, what you're doing. 
what cool sales uh, pitches have you gotten on yourself lately? Because I swear it's a crazy time right now. And yeah, is this thing a hoax? I mean, is this a fraud? Are, are we going back to the way things should have been? You know, are we, are, is everybody that's been furloughed and laid off going to come back to work? Because it's scary out there. I mean, there's a lot of debates on whether or not this thing was planned, real or not, a lot of conspiracy, though the numbers are scary. I mean, we just announced today as of the day I'm recording this episode, which is 5-8, that unemployment rate, like real unemployment, like not the fake number. I mean, it's around 20, it's almost 23%. I mean, we're talking levels that were, haven't been seen in over 80 years. And we're talking Great Depression. We're talking uh, one out of every four people is not working. The, the numbers are real. I mean, the hopes are that a lot of these numbers, as soon as this, these shelter things are up, they come right back up. And I, I mean, I sure hope so, but we could be in for a very, very long and deep uh, recession. I mean, some say depression is possible. I, I don't... I mean, the chance of that's probably kind of slim, but definitely going to be in a recession. And it's going to be interesting to see, um, you know, was this recession needed though? Was it caused, you know, was it caused by the power, by the greater power? Was it? I mean, the numbers are real. I'm not going to sit here and have a conspiracy show. Like, you know, the numbers are real. The death rates of COVID compared to other, other things. The numbers are out there. You know, I'm not, this isn't what this show's about, but it's just, I am going to try to open up your eyes and ears and I'm constantly keeping mine open and just wondering, was all this needed? I mean, at this point, I don't know what to believe or what to do. If you follow the stock market at all, I mean, that thing is pretty much like back up. The NASDAQ, the t technology sectors uh, sector is essentially green for the year, which is, it means it's actually positive, which is insane. I mean, talk about everything just going up, 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 up. It's a crazy, crazy time we live in. Crazy time. We're going to look back at it. It's going to be like 2020, the year of what the fuck. I mean, some say that this could last easily into 2021. And who knows? Uh, who knows? I, I think life will not be the same ever again. I hope you're adjusting. I hope you're learning. I hope you're just prepped for what is to come. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, just make it, making the best of it, making the best of your time, your time here, your time on this earth and reaching out to your family and friends, loving things, enjoying things as much as possible. Like as bad as times are, we have to enjoy what we have, what's in front of us. And yeah, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. And I hope you are too. Hodgepodge, my eco-friendly waste removal moving storage company here in Chicagoland. Uh, things are going good. I mean, it's been rough. Uh, we got hit, uh, you know, definitely got hit hard. We're still, luckily we're operating at about 50% now and, you know, have to, uh, luckily I've been able to make some cuts, not, and not actually like firing anyone or anything like that. We're laying anyone off. So that's been, I've been very fortunate, but have made some cuts, you know, some less supplies, less, some less maintenance, you know, had to decrease some people's hours, a lot of things that we had to do. And luckily everybody's been a team sport and everybody's agreed to what's been assigned and what's been told. And, and, and we've been, we've been very fortunate. I think the most important thing I can say from my experience is communication. And it's good because I started communicating with my team more often. Now I would usually Maybe reach out to them every once in a while, message them individually, call them every once in a while. I still call them. But now on top of that, I started doing like a group chat. So now I actually like all the main team members and another group of team members, I will message them updates. Like, hey, so-and-so, we just got new masks in. You know, everybody's going to get up, you know, this many masks, blah, blah, blah. Or, hey, this new policy we're at, you know, doing as of today, blah, blah and something like that. So I've, I've, I've started using new communication methods with, with my workers and my employees. And I think it's something that's going to stick. I, I like it. It's been, it's been good. I've had some good feedback. Not everyone's always happy with my messages, but sometimes you got to make tough decisions if you want to thrive and, and survive. That's for sure. But yeah, I, I'm trying to, trying to go day by day and just learn from everything that's happening. And, and I hope you are too.
And I hope you're ready to make adjustments as well, because this is a time of adjusting and being ready and being able, being ready to navigate as needed. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in, for listening. Be sure to check us out on iTunes. Leave us a, uh, leave us a, a review if you can. Definitely means a lot to us. And yeah, if you're, uh, if you're tuning in, uh, be sure to subscribe if on YouTube. And um, last but not least, uh, I don't know if you ever check out our website, but check out podriver.com. There's uh, there's a lot going on there. Um, but the podcast, oh, there's always updates going on. And be sure to you know stay on top of that because we are not going to sleep. We're going to keep pumping out content, keep pumping out good stuff for each and every single one of you. Thank you so much. Love you all. Keep at it. Crush the rest of your week. Talk soon. Boss Nation, we out. That is all for this episode of Boss to Boss. Your next step is to visit boss2boss.com, where you will find proven techniques followed by professionals to help you make that next step. Again, that is boss, the number two boss.com. And remember, the time is now. <laughs>